All right, today on Fury Garage, I'm gonna show you how to pull a drive shaft out of a 100 series Land Cruiser. This is gonna be a quick one, so hold on. You'll need at least this many tools, maybe more, and a mate if you can. Step one, remove dust cover. Two hands may be required. Step two, remove circlip. Step three, drop circlip in dirt. Step four, 14 mil on all nuts. Rattle gun is preferred. Step five, leave nut on enough to cover threaded shank of stud and then hit with incorrect hammer until ruined. As the sleeve pops off, you know you've hit it hard enough. Has now released. Do for all. Step six, remove nuts and all other hardware completely. Step seven, remove drive flange. Step eight, reinstall all hardware onto studs so you don't lose them. Step nine, find bent over metal flange thing, bend straight with screwdriver so you can undo gigantic nut. Step 10, acquire 54 mil socket, undo gigantic nut. Step 11, remove location locking plate thing. Step 12, get gigantic socket, remove second locking nut. Step 13, get 17 mil socket, remove brake caliper bolts, top and bottom. Step 14, remove brake line holder. Step 15, remove brake caliper, place on object to not stress brake line. Step 16, replace brake caliper bolts so you don't lose them. These ones are good bolts. Do not lose these. Step 16 and a half, remove brake disc. Do not drop bearing, it's very greasy. Step 17 is optional. You can remove these four bolts to get the dust cover and this uh, seal off. Helps accessing the back a bit easier. You don't have to do it, I guess, but I'm going to because I need to clean everything. Step 18, remove wheel speed sensor. It is a 10 mil, comes through from this side. Step 19, remove rest of wheel speed sensor cabling, harness attachment points from suspension up to the body. Don't forget to replace all the bolts so you don't lose them. Step 20, remove split pin. Hammer may be required. Prerequisite, know how to hit with hammer. Step 21, use 22 mil socket to crack open ball joint nut. Do not fully remove, just most of the way. Step 22, gently tap ball joint surround whole thing with hammer until ball joint releases. Ball joint has now released. Remove ball joint nut, hopefully by hand if you've done step 22 correctly, and ball joint should come out. Repeat process for upper ball joint. Be cautious when removing this ball joint as Upper arm has bush spring loading on it, I guess, and torsion bar loading on it. So this is now very tight, even though it's released. So Jack's recommended to remove nut. Discover broken ball joint boot, add to parts list. Step 24, use 14 mil socket to remove sway bar. Use 19 mil socket and rattle gun to remove shock absorber. Be cautious of spring back potentially use jack using a 22 mil implement and a oil filter fucking pipe wrench thing uh, hold shock absorber while twisting 20 year old factory nut loose on shock absorber prepare to curse and lose knuckles is best step step almost halfway uh, use 19 mil to undo steering thing off knuckle is tight oh, buy extendable ratchet extend ratchet oh, great success step 27 prepare to get exceptionally creative trying to now remove drive shaft from hub uh, good luck and hold your tongue right I guess step 20 grab drive shaft and pull and hope it comes out nice and easy that is how you remove a 100 series Land Cruiser drive shaft in uh, less than 30 simple and easy steps for anyone to try. Yeah, good luck. 
All right, so I have to apologize. I keep forgetting to start recording before I start working.